All right. Nothing left but chasing him down. Let's do it. Main story rush time. I wouldn't call it no, a rush. We are not landing back in that thing. Fuck that. Vermeer. A lush frontier world, ideal for, ideal for colonization by carbon-based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid tropical terrain. Unfortunately, the political instability of the nearby terminus systems has impeded colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by pirates and slavers make it an unappealing homestead. <coughs> Which makes it yeah. perfect for Saren's interests. Yeah, that sounds good. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Talk about uh, da uh, a low fly. Got a clean drop, Commander. Eh? Yeah. That's you, good Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. I mean, he, he, he does say he's the best damn pilot in the Alliance. That's uh, probably right. Yeah, this armor's a bit better. Uh, uh, yeah, just, just a bit. Only has one mod slot and slightly work if you're tech and biotic, but eh, that's fine. Two less points, since they can biotic for double the shields and like four times the damage protection. Plus a shield modular for even more shields. Yeah. Uh, I think it's dead. Plus a maxed out quarry machinist for even more shield capacity. Nice. She has a bit of shields. Master over. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. We'll get dumping. Eh. I might just get fitness. Well, we'll max out fitness. Yeah. And put more points in the first aid. Yeah, there's at least that. This is pretty unlikely we'll get many more points after this anyway. Hmm. And here I thought there would be hostile. Hostiles! Yeah, they're close. Can I get anything with the Mako as an exercise of frustration? Yep. Especially at close range. any higher than head level it seems. Seriously. We're in, a, in another long winding room. Say the problem that but not say you know what? <laughs> you could yeah. say. Long winding road on right. Fuck off. That's quite a bit of money for things you keep just one shot in. Just obliterate one of the little crap things. I feel bad when I'm pretty sure they're just robots anyways. No, no, those are organic. No. They are native life forms. They look mechanic. Listen, just because it's gray does not mean it's Mechanical. Oh yeah. Now that you actually so mean it's really easy. Glitch. <laughs> Very mechanical. Very mechanical, Ram. 
Once you actually zoomed in, I could bet they were on damage. That went the long distance as the anti disco compression is not that easy to fail. <laughs> That's one of the jammed. Yikes! Fail! Yeah, you can't be destroyed as long as you're outside of it. Yeah, it sounds out right. Game Joyek! Hey, better than the Warthog from the first Halo game. Literally nothing can destroy it. Oh yeah. Again, the work of this model of uh, sure it's nigh unstoppable, but you can still get a hit one on top of it. Yep. Hello! Hello! Bully! Bully! Still bullying Colossus. Let us help it. Thank you. Also, you remind me to. Yeah, I know. Play it again. Uh oh. Exit of view. That was not your brightest move. I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, Garrus has sabotage ready. Okay then. What are you shooting at? Oh wow. Oh wow. They were shooting at way for the foundation. Woo! Yeah, that's a lot of damage. So what was really? the damage having? Really? Really? Okay, you can fuck right off. Anyone else? That's all we can see. Can you see enough? You're not jump when you're in. It's because of the range of the sensors. The uh, Mako has 400 meters compared to the hard suit's 40 meters. Yeah, that's a bit of a difference. Hey, more money here. Yeah. Dude, wonder, the problem with the Mako is its shields take so goddamn long to recharge. Yeah. But it's really easy to lose them. Especially when fighting against something even bigger. Like that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Fully. Fully. So with how much damage it does and how much it should be has. I wouldn't be surprised if this was really the intended tactic to deal with it. Probably. Yeah, this for days to XP? Pretty much. Yeah, sounds like that. Must be a way to 
shut that gun down. I guess it's time to run full. There's uh, quite a few more of them. Yep. <laughs> that does seem like an appropriate way to shut it down. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. I want to post the Solarian base now. Out. Ah, mm. uh, there we go. We get a moment to reassert itself. Something like that. Uh, the fact that the uh, very flat tank. It's better than the air, my chokes are getting set back up. Uh, it's kinda disappointing. Okay. You can see we're still getting a few kill points. Tungsten rounds, okay. Wait, what's a scram round, I wonder? Oh, hey, sledgehammer rounds. Sledgehammer rounds, hey. Again, weapon force and toxic damage. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Not necessarily against the kids so much, but, you know. Which one we want to wait? Probably quite a mistake. Uh, not too much now. Just around the bend. Oh, we're getting there. One. What about two through ten? Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get to it. One point. That's kind of disappointing, but I guess that's what happens when you're at such a high level. Yep, level 44. That's the AI hack. Probably come in handy. Oh, so you're super hard, thing. Eh, it doesn't matter. Commander, oh, the mod assistant's a long one. It looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain it. A lot of fun this is gonna be. Yeah. There go the Solarians. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? 
I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? Indeed. You're <laughs> all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Oh my! Not bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We have a plan of attack. Send us. <laughs> if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. He's upset that, right? <laughs> just bring, let's bring him with us. <laughs> yeah. I think he's a oh, little upset. Oh, I get it. He's fishing. <laughs> Man, just the, the background, just that ominous drum beat. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy- I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be his general. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. And there's two. We're gonna blame him for this anyway. Yeah. It's worth noting, you can fail to talk him down. Oh. Which means either you or Ash will kill him. We're doing this, then let's go. Yeah. A lot of fun that, that would be, huh? Right. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. 
drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turi and ask it by. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> <laughs> She's not wrong. So who is it going to be? Uh, we could just ask the captain. Hmm. Who would be better suited? I wish we could just unvote. Either of these two will do, Commander. Higher Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Uh, hmm. Same Ashley. Alright. She's going to a straight up combat. You'll look up the you cap. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? <laughs> Let's do this. Yep. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then, if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concern. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped Arachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Now that's a good speech. <laughs> Hope you will meet again. I you know I smell Lasgun, do you? Hold hey. the line. <laughs> well, Rex, the wall obviously. of guns. <laughs> the <laughs> wall of guns. And who else should we bring to this? Tally. Tally, Tally. All right, Tally, it is. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Right. Let's undermine all of their defenses. Comms tower. Satellite yeah, up in tower. Bomber refueling yeah. platform. All of those sound like very good ways to undermine them. Indeed. It's very nice that we have a map detailing all of those Shadow locations. Is on the Repeat. Shadow is on the ground. 
Standing. Yeah, there's still one down there. Good. Meanwhile, whoops, that looked important. I don't mm -hmm. even give a fuck. We don't exactly need better weapons at this rate. Not really. Hello. Hello. Where are you going? <coughs> Listen, he had places to be. Nice fractal, bro. <laughs> Do you even have physics? Something scrambled, they're targeting. We got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off my line. They're calling sat strikes. Diego, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? But open ground. Oops, that also looked important. Sure. Take a right. Aircraft heading to perimeter station to right. recharge. Buck her up before they come back. Feeling station you got there. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to it. Yeah. Let's be all of them. Probably. Let's check them out again just in case. Sat tower's been disrupted. I'm not in that side like it. Alex, one location. Oh, hello. I wasn't exactly sure why you were so focused on planning to punch it. I wonder, do I have any better armor for a Krogan? Nope. The channel team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. You think this is worth for it?
We've got access to base security. We can put the alarms from here, maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. That'll also help. <laughs> Indoctrinated, huh? So we're starting to find some of the people from Savage Ship at least. These are all Solarian though. Or they've been exposed to something related to it. I mean, I don't see Sovereign here. Uh, here. I mean, the effects do, do seem to carry over for quite a while. So. Am I going the right fucking way? Okay. Hell, even the matriarch needed quite some time to even tired being able to free herself from it, so... Give a little ground, Williams. We don't want them to bunk her up. Draw them out. Oh, joy. I'm just gonna leave that there. Can in post. Dr. Droya. What the fuck that was? Shit. Overheated. <laughs> Looked like a Krogan, but he didn't. You know. Wait, yeah. That's Krogan heavy armor. <sighs> it's worse than what he's got. This place is an what? abomination. Seren's research must be destroyed. There's a chance we can still just salvage his research and use it for the dead for the fight. Eh, can't risk it. What if the research is flawed? Well, yeah, I didn't mean to use shoot. it right that way. You Please, can, like, examine it and stuff, right? Late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Granath Anoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I'd expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Who's up then? See? Full access. Hey. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. 
It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Oh, so we are close to the ship? Mm hmm. What do you think? Yeah, let's release her. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh! <laughs> yeah, give her a nice oh shit moment. Yeah. A reminder to pick your employers a little more carefully in the future. To be fair, not even the council. To be fair, it's not. It's, it was, it's to, be, to be fair, it's not like Saren started off as an evil asshole. Yeah, like, he was a good specter and he had quite the good reputation built up and. Then he then just he's went. doing bullshit. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. Oh boy. This one's but the hologram on This one's intact. Didn't it explode. Makes sense. <coughs> but it didn't explode. Yeah, that is the should probably destroy it anyway just to destroy it. Well I guess it's technically going to be destroyed anyway. Yeah, so... that's where I set off a nuke in this place, so I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks like Saren. That looks what very ripper, right? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't oh. just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. <laughs> Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them, the legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! Where are the rest of the Reapers? 
Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction, Chen. This exchange is over. What? Well, he certainly seemed to be determined Commander, to have the last word. We got trouble. So it seems. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. <laughs> There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Time to go. Like, you know, Shepard's good, but I don't think he can take on a Reaper good. Or at the very least, I'm the wrong class to try and fight a Reaper head on. The Gath are turning from your position, J.I. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. How nice of him to lower the gate for us, right? farther. Oh, eh, don't care enough. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, at this rate, what else is there to do to you? More hoppers. Oh, yeah, the higher level versions. Uh, I'm getting those I have just been getting the name wrong all this time. Uh, oh, okay, however, I ended up over here. Seek the speed from tactic. <laughs> A turret is disabled. Hello, guys. We need to work on the gun shadow team. Now it's our turn. Just one gun down. That's it. We need to clear the gun and set those charges. Has anyone ever told you hoppy bastards that y'all are absolutely Soldier insufferable? Set. Everyone bunker down! Bunker <clears throat> down! Curious, huh? Oh, right! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Nothing could possibly go wrong here.
Intercom is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative! Just make sure that nuke is set! We'll hold him as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. The part where it all goes wrong. Yep. Yeah, we're probably just gonna keep those two in the beam until the end. Of course. Because Raiden needs to be there until the end, and then well. <laughs> That's a lot of Krogan and a lot of hoppers. When a Krogan Warlord and a Krogan Warlord run into each other. Unfortunately, our Krogan Warlord doesn't seem to be as tough. Whoop, 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 whoop. That was a narrow save. Yeah, he's getting up. Okay, where's the hopper at? Thank goodness there's no friendly fire. That could have gone better. Yeah, that's the word for it. Still considered in combat. We're still considered in combat. There we go. That's what in a hurry or whatever. Yeah. And that's how I many you can print. I can sprint. I mean like the the good sprint. No. Oh well. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it gonna be, Ran? Rescue, you sure? Yes. Okay. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Shed single tear. <sighs> I don't like it either. One of the two was gonna die either way, wasn't it? Well, yes. <laughs> Remember all those times I mentioned I always paid more attention to Ash and that's why I was using Caden more? Uh. <coughs> Ugly foreshadowing much. And unfortunately, I'm, I usually pick her as well, so... I've got a sec I've got a secondary save on Master 3 though that specifically has them. You know, just so I can finally hear his dialogue. Oh! Hey! Go the fuck out. Yeah, Ash, cool. are you sure you needed my help? <laughs> <laughs> oh look who it is. Wonder when you show up. I'm going to go ahead and guess that he just should stop to at whichever step to go. Yeah. Seriously, Shepard. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My guests were utterly convinced the Solarians were real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. 
can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my... You believed it? Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, Die. Yeah, unsurprisingly, there was no way to to talk him down. No shit. Even if there, even if there was, Rex needs a head to take. <laughs> yep. Yeah, not sure what, what, how he knocked me down. Talk to the fist. Hey, good question. Where can I get one of those hoverboards? It's not even a pistol I have left.
can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Elenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. We know that. Hmm. Chief Williams, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Elenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Ash, how far are you going to drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose a good soldier over it. Aye, aye, Commander. Commander, excuse me for interrupting. Sometimes you gotta be a little I harsh. I have an idea. I think the beacon mm -hmm. you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may yes. have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Kinky. Okay, go ahead. <coughs> She's wearing Gester's probably a spacious time. She's. That's basically how they do it. Oh, so he thinks this piece is that does it that way. She's, uh, she's really an exhibitionist, isn't she? Still not any more than the last time. Still doesn't make hardly any fucking sense. Oh shit, three games later it still didn't make sense. The images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Sarah needed to find the new relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits are in Ilos. That's where Saren is headed. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. What do you think? Uh, you need proof? Okay. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Seren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. 
Yeah, I mean, fair enough that is indeed why Spectres exist. <sighs> well... They haven't warned why they do, what they do with that is... Up to them. No longer in our hands, yep. Either way, we know what our next destination is. Yep. One last stop. Yep. Next time, Ilos. Hope you'll have fun, and we'll see you for the end.